Where you from? I'm from a place where everybody's involved. The young Mac of home stay hard. But get them kids and rich kids get along. Word is bomb. Appreciate when times get hard. Utilize the positive parts to unify from a song. Time to the eight or five. I'm the truth, you can see where you at. What's up, my family? It's red, love. Eight, four, five, let's right. go. Sunshine, my beautiful people, we all shine. Pine, bush, Tim, and Roll. When you hear, you better know. Live from the point, live, eight, four, five. One, let's two, get two, busy. Two, I'm coming from, from live. Eight, four, five. Let's get busy. I'm coming from live. Eight, four, five. Let's get busy. I'm coming from live. Eight, four, five. Let's get busy. I'm coming from live. Eight, four, five. Let's get busy. I'm coming from live. Eight, four, five. Let's get busy. I'm coming from live. Eight, four, five. Let's get busy. I'm coming from live. Eight, four, five. Let's get busy. I'm coming from live. Eight, four, five. Let's get busy. I'm coming from live. Eight, four, five. Let's get busy. I'm coming from live. Eight, four, five. Let's get busy. I'm coming from live. Eight, four, five. Let's get busy. I'm coming from live. Put your hands in the sky. Control, live it up because I use never die. Control, one love, one guy, we fly. Middle town, you feel me? Great. I used to chill at my house. Parents love, baby. You see my camera. Thank you, thank you, thank you. This is the M City filler. RP beats with a face of J Dilla. Tell me, can you dig up? This is for my North Street cats getting thriller. I like street team past the tour city. Look pretty heavy, ran them city Stepping from that big apple in that New York City life Get your mind right, get your focus on Don't you ever let nobody try to tell the truth One for the love, two for the peace Three for the soldiers, rest in peace For unity, I bring positive back Show me five fingers cause I'm bringing hip hop I'm coming from live from the 845 Everybody put your hands in the sky Oh yeah, he made this for you I'm telling you He made this for you Finding some signing off from L. Eight four five, not me. You know it's your girl Gucci, aka Miss Montana, aka Miss Get Involved. Shout out to the hottest online radio station reporting live 845 straight 845 radio, building our own from the ground up. Listen, all week's been a great week this week. I've had some awesome people come in. Um, and I'm not gonna lie, I was telling my mom, I said, Mom, it's something in the month of October. But my heavy hitters is coming in here. I don't know what it is, but everybody that I have yet to see or an interview's been long overdue, they're coming around. So with that being said, tonight's guest, um, I'm honored to uh, sit with tonight, one of Middletown's finest. Yeah. Um, one of the, and I always say this, but I don't always say this. I'm lying. I might give myself feedback. I'm not, I don't always say this because it don't be true. Hold on, don't worry. I got two mics. I'll be doing, I, could, I does this slick. I'm like a technical engineer. Yo, no. Yo. 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 Ooh, in my mouth. Yeesh. Yo, yo. This one probably not even on. All right. Um, but I always, I don't say this too much, but there's a lot of artists that I feel that go overlooked in the Hudson Valley. And tonight's guest is uh, Slick Vicker. Slick Vic. Uh, <laughs> Slick he, Vic. Slick Vic, but you know, you, don't, you guys don't say what I say. Yeah. But uh, Slick Vic it's is nice. definitely represent representation of Middletown, New York. Definitely a dope, dope artist. Uh, again, Thank one you. of the most underlooked, overlooked artists. Um, and we're going to talk about that. So again, Slick Vic, tell people who you are and a little bit about yourself. Well, my name is Slick Vic. Um, I come from the Bronx, but uh, you know, I, I was raised in to the Bronx since I was like 13. And then I came up here. I didn't even know what Middletown was, but... When I came up here, you know, it, you know, it's home now. Well, welcome home then. Yeah, I know. <laughs> well, well, shucks then. Well, sh shout out to you coming from the Bronx, and you definitely reside in Middletown, so yeah. you're definitely a representation of Middletown right now. Yeah, yeah. Um, 
All right, so Sick Vic, let's let's start because I I started this whole intro with saying you're the most overlooked and underlooked artist. Okay. Um, how long you been doing music? Um, I've been doing music for almost five years. Five years? Yeah, but how long um, you been taking it serious? Se yeah, serious. Yeah, five years. But before that, I was just playing around. Like with my friends were just like freestyling, doing beat. like we was recording in a in a closet. Right, right. So we was just you know doing whatever me and my friends. So what made you say, okay, listen, friends, we got to turn this from something to play with to something that has to be taken seriously? Well, we we was trying to do that for the longest, like maybe like I was like 17 once I really started doing it. And right. then after I, like we kept on saying it like, yeah, we should do it, we should do it for like three years straight. And we never like got nowhere with it. And then after a while, I was just like, you know what? I, I'm just She's gonna do it. do it. Now you're definitely a dope artist. Um, Thank you. The one thing I like about you, Slick Vic, is you work. You will work with anybody and everybody. Yeah. Um, I see a lot of your music uh, has a lot of features mm -hmm. with local artists. So that's one thing I do respect about you. I wanted to say that publicly. Thank you. Um, so let's talk about the first album, the first mixtape, because you have a couple mixtapes you dropped. Yeah. Um, oh yeah, I, I does my homework. Yeah, I does this. Yeah, I, I dropped. I dropped three. I was supposed to have four, but I didn't drop the second one. Okay. It was called I Came In Front. You came in front, but tell us the one that you did drop. The ones that I did drop, um, I dropped, the first one was That's Right. Uh-huh. That's on that piff. Um, the sec the second one I ain't dropped, but the third one I dropped with me and Bino. Uh -huh. It was called Two Lives, One World. It's on that piff, too. Um, and then the last one I just... I just put out is to call the slick way. Now we're not going to wait before we talk about the slick way, the other two albums. Um, mm -hmm. as an artist and you like I said, you've been doing it for five years, like you mm -hmm. said. Um, were you satisfied with those two projects that you put out? Did you feel um good about them? Did you feel like okay, I could have done better? How did you feel about those two albums versus um, the one you dropping now? Yeah, mo I, I always like every time when I do a like a whole album. I always like try to better it like for the next one like i don't try to like you know stay on the same flow or right. the same type of you know sound i try to like switch it up just to you know right 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 so but i yeah i try to you know make it better because that's the only way to actually do it right so now you dropped two albums um and you were in the kitchen mm -hmm. and you were cooking um First of all, what is the hardest part about putting an album together? Well, when I did the first one, when I did my first one, I just did like whatever. It was just like every day in the studio, just bang, 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 bang. And then after a while, I was just like, you know what? I should just put out a mixtape. I got a whole bunch of songs that I might as well just put out. Right. So I just put it out. And it was just, it was a lot of features, but it was good. Like it was, it was good. It was good songs. It good was, songs. Yeah, it was, it, it was 16 songs. On my first mixtape. That's amazing, because I hear people come out, they have eight, six, nine, sixteen, 16 songs. Now, um, the last two albums you just had, we, before we even get to the Slick Way, because the Slick Way is like the most, an, it's an anticipated album by you, because you've been, between the last mixtape you dropped and this current one you about to drop, there's been a little wait mm -hmm. in between. Yeah. Um, so. Like a year. A, yeah, a little bit. So, first of all, what, what, what was the hold up? Well, trying to like, you know, get myself together, like, you know, you know, there, there's a life going on too as well. So it's like, I'm trying to balance, you know, music and life, you know, you know, it's hard, but you got to keep going. You got to be consistent. So it, that's what I try to do. And, you know, and people don't, I don't know if a lot of people notice about you, Slick Vic, but you're a different type of artist because you also have a real nine to five job. Actually, yeah. without going into detail, you work for the state. Mm -hmm. So you have a state job and you're yeah. an artist. So how do you balance that? Because you know, mandations with state jobs is mandatory yep. and things like that. It could cut into, and there's certain <clears throat> lifestyles you can't live having a state job, yep. but you're an artist with an image. So how do you balance that? Um, it's, like, like I said, it's hard. But I try to do it, like, you know, I try to, you know, make time for both, mm -hmm. you know, like, even when I'm at work, you know, I, I still write my rhymes, I still do, you know, listen to beats. Right. I, I do all that, so, right. like, even when I'm not working, I'm You're working. working. So. And then even when you're working, you're still working. Yeah. Even though you don't want to be working, you try not to work, yeah, but you're I, still working. Yeah. 
I, I understand it be like that. Shout out to you. Now, again, let's stay right there again because um, a lot of artists, is, you know, 2017, especially the parents like myself, we were raising uh, children who young men mm -hmm. and uh, music is one of the most uh, influential industries in the world because our children look up to artists yep. so as you being an upcoming artist now that kids may think that you know they see little Uzi and they see these videos with selling drugs uh, they may think that's a lifestyle but then here is Slick Vic comes and Slick Vic's camp now I personally know them so I'm going off of what I know personally mm -hmm. Slick Vic camp uh, First of all, very GQ guys, always dress nice. Um, you know, they're not no bum looking situation. Mm -hmm. Yet, all of Slick Vic's camp has full time, state legit jobs. Mm -hmm. So, how do you go? How do we? How do you go that and show the children like you can still be flashy and live and still, life and the legal cool. way? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I, I mean, I I, I I always looked at my sister like you know she's a big influence in my life. So I try to like you know. She always like knew how to balance, you know, everything out. So right. I try to like take that same mind frame. Right. So when I, you know, it is not, you know, it's okay to have a job. Right. And still do music and still what you do what you got to do. Right. Right. You still need money in your pocket. You still gotta, you know, do what you gotta do, and you can still, you know. And that's very important that. so, because you again. It's 2017. Mm -hmm. All these kids are seeing is guns and selling drugs. And that and that's the lifestyle now. Like, right. Nowadays. Like me, I don't personally. I don't. I'm not in that lifestyle. I've been in that lifestyle. Like you know, around it all my life. And it's like, why would you still want to be around it when right. you've been around it so long? So right. Long. So it's like you gotta you gotta get away from it. I got away from it. I came up here. It's still it's still crazy, but you know like. You still gotta do what you gotta do. That don't mean you gotta, you know, pick up a gun. That's a fact. I like I said, I gotta say, continue to say it publicly. I respect you. I know yeah. you a little bit personally, so I respect you. And 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 I because mm -hmm. I respect you and what you're doing in your personal life, it's more enticing to buy your music mm -hmm. because yeah. I know that without a shadow of a doubt that I I know that you're not gonna teach my kids, uh, you know, certain stuff or certain things will not be in your music yeah, no, because no, no, no. of you know what I'm saying. So shout out to you, Slick Vic. Thank you. Now we waited. We I waited a year. You've been through obstacles. You've been through. Um, but now, but let me just say this: even in that year, Slick Vic has been working. Yeah. You have been. I think you have done almost every show or every other show for the Chance Theater. Yeah. I think you've opened up for almost all the artists that almost touched that stage. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The when I think it was like the first show. I forgot which show it was. I think it was Eight Boogies. I went and we did our show, whatever we did our um, performance. I went in the back and I was about to get a drink and then some lady came up to me like, yo, you guys are doing good for the 845. Like nobody comes from Middletown right. to come here to perform. We don't oh. never get any Middletown people. So I'm like, really? Like that Like that got to change. And let me just say this about Slick Vic and Beto B. Shout out to them. I was actually at a, a concert at the Chance Theater. Let me tell you what I respect about them. I gotta say this publicly because you know I ain't scared of none of y'all. Um, all the artists, every time they have a show, I wanna perform last. I wanna open up for the yeah. artists. Yeah. What we have to understand as local artists is, is you're still new to this. So if I go to a concert and I paid my money to see Jay-Z, I don't wanna see 15 local artists. I want to see Jay-Z. So Slick Vic and Vino B are actually want a couple of the few artists that actually realize, let me perform on the first three. Yeah, first. <laughs> Let's get it out. So I actually was at a show and it the formula worked. They performed, I think you guys are first. Or yeah, we was first every time. First. Every time. When I tell you that Middletown, Slick Vic, let me say it, let me say it, let me say it like how I'm, I gotta say it. <laughs> When they performed, they had the entire Chance Theater on their feet, jumping around. Now, people from Middletown be talking about, I'm the best, I'm the best, but no Moochie be in the crowd and I'll be watching. Now, everybody who everybody thought from Middletown that was supposed to come and tear up the stage, no bueno. I was there at the age, I was there at the yep. concert when a lot of Middletown people got booed off. And it wasn't because yeah. they, got, they were whack because... They, the, were, they, was last. they, they were last. They were last and people were tired of hearing they, them. They didn't want to hear them no more. So when they asked me, they said, Moochie, who represented? You know what I said. Middletown, Slick Vic and b 
Casino B. Yeah. Because the that you guys had the crowd going crazy. And that is don't worry, we live, baby. And that is the most important thing that I think people don't know. If you could perform in front of a crowd of 10, mm -hmm. you could perform in a, a crowd of 1,000. Yep. And I, your energy is dope. Your Thank energy you. is super dope. Thank you, yeah. You jump around, you tall, you slinky. I, I try. I mean, you know, it gets tiring, but I try. <laughs> <laughs> I try. Now, uh, everybody want to know, is Slick Vic in a bit? Is this a group? Are you a solo artist? Um, well, I have a I have a crew, you know, it's called Stay Fly Music Group. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, we just like a music group, but it's only like me and my, my friend O, mm -hmm. aka Shane. He's mm -hmm. he's on some of my tracks, like like my first one. I think he was I think he was on the one with me and Bino. Right. And he was on one of them. But yeah, he's he's in the crew and I I just basically mess with like you know high sevens crew mm -hmm. that be no uh -huh. aaron J, sony light sony light raw like, blue raw, well raw blue is not on on there but he, he's he yeah family he's not, okay yeah, yeah basically yeah shout out to you slick Vic. Yeah. all right so we get so you take a year uh like i said you put in a lot of work you did a lot of show you, you've been traveling and stuff like mm -hmm. that and putting in work you finally got to the point where you finished your fourth album yeah mm -hmm. the slick way yeah. First of all, where'd you get the slick way from? The title. It it took me a minute to get the 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 like the title, cause at first I was trying to I, I was trying to name it something else like the like level up or level it up. Uh huh. Then after a while, I was like, it's not really me, like. Right. You're trying to be slick. Yeah. Like <laughs> I gotta get something that's me. So I thought about. I was like, you know, let me do it the slick way. So. All right. So that's. What I, I like did. the name. Okay. So we slick now. Slick. Slick, slick Vic, <laughs> slick Vic, Vic. I gotta ask you this question before we even get into the song. Um, I like I said, I think you're dope. I actually listen to Thank your music. You. Um, I actually yell at him all the time because his music is not clean, and I be wanting it on the show. I know. <laughs> um, but you, you know, you, you, you are a dope artist, and you hang out with a dope camp. Yet, Thank you. you don't get the respect that you um deserve. Mm -hmm. Uh, why do you think that is, like? Um, probably because, you know, the people I be with or probably because you're not, I'm not like, you know, popular or like, you know, like in the loop loop, like I'm always like to myself. So it's like, you know, I guess people would want to see you more often to like be like, oh yeah, like, yeah, I know him or that. Right. But it's like, if you like the songs, you know. You got, so you're the type of artist that you're going to let your music speak for itself. Yeah, but I'm, I will also like, you know show up to like you know events and stuff like that i'm not gonna like you know be on some like drake stuff you know never be right 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 you know, out i'm not saying that's not you know you know you can't do that but you know i'm not gonna be you know doing that yeah i i, I have to i i i have to say this public you know i don't care what i say with no more it's 2017 i've been doing this for a year mm -hmm. i had to do a live actually um because a lot of you guys are really really good and I be looking at like the award show and the votes and hashtags, and I'm be like, sometimes I be like, why are certain people not on this list? But then I had to come to the realization, people don't vote off of talent; they yeah, vote they off of favoritism. Know, like favoritism. Yeah. Like, I ain't gonna lie. This, this is crazy because I I tell people all the time, like when I came up here, like I'm from the city, so I, I like out there they spread your word like water. Right. Yes. So. Up here, when I came up here, is like you know, I don't know. It's different. Everybody's favorites. Like yes. I, I, I tried out for the basketball team one time, and when I first came in there, the coach is like, "Oh yeah, you go on that side." You know, like he he sent me basically to the JV, and I'm like, "Right, you don't even know. You didn't even see me play. Yeah, you didn't even see me play. You already, you already got your squad. Yeah, you got, already you know, going. That's exactly how it is. And after that, I looked. I was like, Nah, they they favorite over here. I can't even." You can't even get your shine off because other people. Are that's ready. a fact, and, and you know what's slick, and I and, I, and 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 that's the reason why I have the radio. I tell people quick, like I I love everybody. I should you know I show love um, outside of outside of the work and station of my personal life. I have my favorites I deal with, but when it comes to 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 certain things, I don't have no favorites. So when I watched I watched the award show last year, and I actually watched the vote, and even now we're watching. I keep saying to my mom like. Now, why is this person not up here? You know, they done this, 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 this. But this person's up here, and they didn't do this, this, this. But this person's more popular in the people's eyes. 
That's why this year we're doing, we have to have a panel and a voting system because we have to really be fair because there's artists like you that actually put a lot of work and then you don't cry about it. Yeah. You don't cry, you don't be like, not me, nobody likes me. You never do that. You just keep making music, you keep sharing your posts, you keep dropping your music, on, and not on SoundCloud either. He yeah. drops his music on Spotify, mm -hmm. that piss, yeah. and, and Spinrellas yeah. and things like that. Yeah. Um, so definitely shout out to you, and I Thank hopefully I, 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 I see you at this April Final War Show. Yeah, I, I, I'm gonna go. Wait, what, what day is it again? It's next year. Oh, next year. Yeah, All we right. still we got a lot of time. Right now, yeah. we're in the voting process. Boy, we got so much time. I don't even know if I'll be here. Well, let me know, cause uh, you know, I got a job, so I gotta. I you tell him you got a jizzle. Ah, a jizzle. Say that again. Let me jizzle. listen. Say it. Say it slick, because a lot of them young boys out there don't know about that. I'm not even talking about boys. A lot of people yeah. don't know about that that J O B. They allergic to that word. You know, when you say job, they bring out a high. Job. If you don't, you know, you don't got no money in your pocket. Go get a to job. work. Just go. You know, it's not. Why are you still hurt. asking me for ten dollars? I brought, gave you ten dollars last week. Mm -hmm. That's what I was saying. I ain't talking right now. Shout out to Slick Victor. Um, uh, listen, Mr. 2017. All right, so he just dropped his new album. Mm. The slick, slick way. way. He dropped it on. Um, like, I forgot. I forgot. I, like a month ago. Like a month ago. Mm -hmm. Tonight's song that we're gonna be focusing on is "Heard You." Mm -hmm. Heard me. Yeah. Heard me. Now let's talk about this. So first of all, the concept of the song. Where we going with this? Well, I was just. I went in there. I was just like you know. I found a beat real quick. Took it. To be honest, just did that real quick. Did I just did the chorus like in like maybe like two three minutes. So this is a fast done song? Yeah, it was done. It was like fast, like real quick. I just did it. Real quick. Since you said it like that, Slick Vic, what take us in a creative like how is studio time with Slick Vic? Is you do you go in there, do you jones around a little bit? Do you have to have a couple of women and get inspired, a little drink or two? Or are you the type of person that gotta be alone? Like how's studio time for Slick Vic? Well, I'd rather be alone because I, I be in the zone more. And okay. I think I like it's it's better like I come up with more like you know ideas you know right. you know I be in my zone so it would probably be more fire you know but if I'm like around my like you know people I probably you know just do something real you know joke around or whatever and you know go in the booth if I really like like you know I, I just be freestyling in there like oh da -da -da, and then I'm like, oh yeah I'm going in there and do that right now like, <laughs> you like that yeah so I I just do that you know me and my team we just now so yeah, big, I'm just bigging you up all night because. You are the perfect example of what parents want their children to follow, who they want their children to follow. Oh, thank you. Because not only is he uh, a working man, uh, he's also in a relationship that he's been in and for a while now, yeah. um, over a year. Mm -hmm. So he's a, a faithful, consistent man. Mm -hmm. um, again, you're in the music industry. Uh, you know, the, the, the rule is, or the, the ideal is, you gotta have a lot of holes, a lot of thoughts. But <laughs> you, that's not the image that you go for. How, no. do you, how do you separate that and still be good? Like, um, well, I was doing this before I even, you know, got in a relationship. Mm -hmm. So like, when I got into the relationship, you know, the person already knew right. what it was. And you know, it, this is my passion. So it's like you take that away from me. It's like damn. Like, like we ain't got nothing. We ain't, yeah. Like what do you want me to do? But you've been holding. She's been holding it down. You know and you've been mean? holding it down because I gotta say, scandal wise. Mm -hmm. And you know, listen. This is this is like Hot ninety seven. I get the scandal too. I be know who's sleeping with who and who creeping with who and who <laughs> walking out of who house. I be knowing because I be everywhere. Yeah. I don't really see too much scandal about you. I don't really. I mean, I've mm -hmm. heard a couple little jabs here, you know, little thought moves here, but I've never really heard you have like a, y'all don't want to hear about you having no babies, you know, on the side, or nah. you was caught with another man in the elevator. Like, I don't hear things like that about you. Nah. <laughs> I don't hear that. I don't hear that nah. stuff about you, Slick. So definitely, um, <laughs> you're definitely, uh, definitely a role model for what young people need to do. So Slick Vic, if you could talk to the young people before we get into mm -hmm. Heard Me, um, what would you tell them, um, especially about being young and being a rapper and what they think is real and what's really reality? Um, I I just say we we'll go how you feel, you know, like with reality, you gotta you gotta face reality, mm -hmm. but you can still you know be real with your songs, cause you know that's the I think that's the best way. Like you you know you going off of somebody's vibe, like somebody else's vibe is not. I don't, like it's not true. It's not right. Yeah, it's, it's not, not true. So yeah. it's like, 
You, you know, be yourself. You could talk about you could talk about anything on the you know on the song mm -hmm. and make it fire. You know, yeah, make it fire. It, it's just how you do it, the way you bring it, and you know, melodies, flow, everything. Now, you are you a singer? No, I'm not a singer, but I I can write for singers. I, I you I, could write. I, yeah, I've done it. So if I wanted to be like the next Remy, you could you ghostwrite my stuff. Yeah. Because if you write it and I rap it, I think we could be hot. We could be a hot team. I come out like, I come yeah. through with the money on a slick way, like payday. <laughs> oh, you ready, guy? You Eating Milky me. Way. I just trying to tell him. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys. So shout out to Slick Vic. He just dropped his new album called The Slick Way. This album, this single is off the new album. Make sure you guys go to Dad Pimp Spinrella. Look up The Slick Way. It is out now. The name of the song is called Heard Me. Tell me what you think. You heard me? That's right. Yeah. 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 That's right. Yeah. Uh, got the loud in the trunk. I know your parents are hurting. Get my speakers in the I know your enemies are hurting. Drive by in the cut. I know your enemies are hurting. I know your parents are hurting. I know your dogs are hurting. Got the loud in the trunk. I know your parents are hurting. Get my speakers they bump. I know your enemies are hurting. I know you niggas all hurt me. Yo, it was she thirsty. Yeah, she fly like a bird. Yeah, we riding in a rock, rock. Nah, nah, I ain't sorry, sorry. Nah, nah, I ain't sorry, sorry. I hit that bitch in the heart. Yeah, I'm getting to the bands. Yeah, you know how I am. Narcotics in the bag. At the top, like a flag. Yeah, I'm wishing for a jack, jack. Hope nigga don't crash. I be with my niggas. Spent the whole pile. Yeah, we getting to the loop. Riding around in the coop. Yeah, I'm hanging with the crew. Yeah, you know how we do. Getting high like a snoop. Big dog in the room. They get to know how I move. I ain't never gotta tell them I'm cool. I'm just trying to get my money up. All these niggas acting funny, but I don't ever mind them. I don't give a fuck. Next to line, I'm the runner up. I'm just trying to get my dollars up. I'm the leader, you the follow up. Know some dipshits that go swallow up. We smelling like a monster. Got the loud in the trunk. I know you niggas on her. Yeah, my speakers, they bump. I know your niggas all hurt me. Drive by in the cut. I know your niggas all hurt me. I know y'all are getting my hurt me. You got like kids from the Atlanta like slick bitch. Y'all heard me? I know your niggas all hurt me. Yeah, my speakers they bump. I know your niggas all hurt me. Drive by in the cut. I know y'all are getting my hurt me. I know your niggas all hurt me. I know y'all are getting my hurt me. I know y'all are getting all hurt me. Yeah, I know that I'm worthy. I handle my own gym worthy. Thirty on like. Level up four levels. I don't ever have to settle. New chain, new watch, new belt. Got the loud in the trunk. I know your niggas all hurt me. Yeah, my speakers they bump. I know your niggas all hurt me. Drive by in the cut. I know your niggas all hurt me. I know your niggas all hurt me. I know your niggas all hurt me. Got the loud in the trunk. Y'all hear me out there? The slick way. The album is out. Drive by in the cut. I'm still rolling. About to be on Spotify and iTunes too. Shout out to Ray from Instagram. He told me that shoulder work. You see that? <laughs> ah, ah, I right said that's the shoulder slick. That's the slick way. Nah. You gotta do it the slick way. <laughs> Shout out to Slick Vic. The name of the song is called You Heard Me. First of all, the song is fire. Let me tell you something. I'm so corny because I've been knowing these songs, I don't be knowing the name. So I'm sitting here like, oh, he about to drop something new. Something new I ain't never heard. Oh, that's my joy right there. <laughs> because I really do uh, listen to you guys on a regular day. I don't wait till uh, this time. I listen to you guys on my car. Mm -hmm. uh, 
Slick, you know I love your music. Uh, you, you know I'm a fan for real. Um, Thank you. Every time I get a chance, um, I got a, a lot of little clips of you and Bino B. Shout out to him and Bino B. They have this other song that's one of my favorites called The Plug. Yeah. Um, yeah. All my people been a plug. I don't mm -hmm. deal with employees. Mm -hmm. I deal with the plug. Yeah. You understand? I gotta yeah, start talking. Uh, you know I gotta start talking. You know what I'm saying? You gotta make, you, jot that song, jot that remix. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, so, I, I, I had to learn that in my 30 years of living. I gotta start dealing with employees. You know, we be talking to people sometimes. And um, a lot of people are arguing in 2017, they're upset. A lot of hateful stuff. I had somebody walk up to me the other day. She, I think she wanted to fight. I wasn't sure because she wasn't a boss. Oh, shit. So, so I, I didn't know why she, you know, we were having a conversation. But I left her on scene mm -hmm. and I, I, I let her know uh, my business hours. And uh, if she would like to contact me to send her supervisor. If she don't send her supervisor, please don't contact me again. Oh, that was smooth. Just like that, you no, know, yeah, because I, I'm not going to be out here because of bosses, um, they know how to handle things like uh, respectable men and women. Mm -hmm. um, employees, we hire them and we fire them. Mm -hmm. And we send them on their way. You understand yeah. what I'm saying? So, uh, shout out to you. You already know you're a boss. You move like a boss. Thank you me. act like a boss. I never really hear you in drama, nothing. Mm -hmm. um, when I, even when I see your social media, everything is about music. Mm -hmm. uh, everything is about you getting to the next level. If it's not anything new i always see your old stuff reoccurring and resurfacing so that's how i know you are serious about this thank um you. and i support you thank you i may not I support say you too you know i feel you feel me i may not say give me five you don't have to ha leave the ha Yo, we I hanging even, live i didn't even know what you had, i didn't even know you was even doing that i thought you <laughs> was like this like yeah da, da, da. <laughs> and she had it out for a while i was like oh, yeah okay, you don't leave me like that live but no. um I may not say it every day, you know, and I may not see your stuff come across, but it's like, big, you know, I'll publicly say this. If you tag me in something or you send something to my inbox mm -hmm. or if you let me know something's going on, I will promote and share and post and blog whatever you mm -hmm. need me to do. I'm here for you. Mm -hmm. Like I said, I, it's a lot of artists, so I don't see everything and I miss some stuff. All you got to do is bring it to my attention because I support you. I support Bino. I support the state block, the whole movement that you got going Thank on. You. From your producers to your to your, your co-laborers in the in the music industry, everything you got going on. I'm proud of you. Thank I can you. say that from the heart because I seen you in action. Thank I seen you work a crowd. I seen the kids love you. I seen adults love you. I seen older people love you. I seen white women love you. I seen white men love you. I seen Latinos love you. Yeah. I seen Caucasians love you. I seen Jewish love you. I I see a Muslim love you. Yeah. So with that being said, you a different type of artist that I can say here that if you guys don't know him, please get to know Slick Vic and reach out to him. Work with this young man. Yeah. Because he work in real life and in this fake life. Yeah. <laughs> I say I'm, in the fake life. I'm, I'm just moving around. I'm doing a whole lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. Like, you know. And I'm proud of you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm proud. I'm proud of you too. You see how you, I mean, you put all this together. I just trying yourself. to be Wendy Williams without I, the flat back. She the boss. You talk about me. She the boss right now. I mean, here. I don't like to tip my own horn, but uh, <laughs> she the boss. I would like to you give a shout out to all those that didn't think shout that I, I could me. hold it down. Shout out to me. You know what I'm saying? But I just didn't slink. I, I, ah. I, 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 we got it. <laughs> now we was there. Listen, we about to get out of here though. But make sure you guys mm -hmm. go cop that slick way. The slick. Way yep, the album out right is now. right now. Trust me, it's not it's no six fire. six p um six uh, song EP. This is a real album. Yeah. It's out on uh Spin Rilla right now. Yeah. We are looking for it to be out on iTunes and Spotify. Yep, you know, when as soon as he drops it, Moochie gonna know, and I'm gonna tell you to go yep. get that. Show love to the right slick now. way. You understand? Spin right that dollar ninety nine. Right it's okay. A lot of y'all smoke weed, a lot of y'all drink Hennessy. If you take a dollar ninety nine away from both of those things, you're gonna be all right. Gonna but before we get out of here, Slick Vic, tell people where we can find you, your Facebook, your medias, your sound your sound clouds, your spin rallies, anything mm -hmm. you want to know, shoot them the plugs. Uh you can just find me Slick Vic. I'm on YouTube, on Facebook, on Instagram is Vic So Slick. Uh Twitter, top flight underscore Vic, V I C K. Um and SoundCloud, yeah, same thing. Slick Vic, just search me. I'm even on Google, even with the dollar sign, all that. You on Google too? Yeah. That's how I knew you was a boss. <laughs> you know yeah. what I tell people in 2017? What? Go 
Google me. Yeah, Google it. If you are not Googleable, mm -hmm. you are not. You have no right to talk about nobody. Yep. If I cannot go on Google search and look up your name, don't not talk about me. So since you, I, that's how I knew. That's why. That's why I'm the plug because I know pluggers <laughs> when I see them. Exactly. I know pluggers. Yep. So Google slick Vic. Google me with the dollar signs. All right, y'all. Yeah. You about to get out of here. This is a fun uh -huh. show. But again, make sure you guys go cop the new album, The Slick Way. The Slick Way on is Spinrilla. out now on Spinrilla. It'll I'll be on Spotify soon. Real, real soon. Make sure you guys follow Slick Vic, though. Swallow his Instagram, his Facebook, his Twitter. This young man is always moving, always performing somewhere, mm -hmm. always making it work. So make sure you guys don't miss out on what he has cooking up next, because I'm sure this is not the end. This is only the beginning. This is 2017. Make sure you guys go to the Face uh, Report Live 845, oh, 845 Award Show link and vote uh, Slick Vic. And let's get him on that male artist of the year. Uh, go check out his videos. Let's put some videos for video of the year. Uh, go check out, uh, put him on the vers most versatile artist. What else? We got Rising Star. We got a lot of good categories that I feel that he'll be a good fit in. So take your time every day and go vote the word Slick Vic. Vic, you also get your camp every day to take a minute just to vote your name, your camp name in there. Let's get those numbers up. Oh, so sure. by December 21st, uh, we can at least see you as a nominee for some award because I believe that you have earned it. Uh, you put enough to work in in the 845, so you earn that. Thank you. Before we get out of here, because you know I'm a DJ, a host, and everything else, I think I like this song. My mom over there with her church dress on, <laughs> dancing. She better not preach on Sunday. That's all I know. But the name of the song is called Heard Me. Listen, y'all, I love this. It's a, it's a video, video on YouTube, too. So for heard me? Yeah, you ain't tell me that. Don't I, be acting bougie. I, 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 hey, I do videos like. <laughs> That's right, cause I hey, you got visuals. visuals. Yeah. I think you ain't got yeah. nothing else, slick big. You got visuals. Yeah. Thank God I ain't on camera right now, guys, cause my whole weed is stuck to the wall. Look at that. Shout out to the tech, though. All right, now this song is called Heard Me. We gonna get out of here. Slick big, the slick way is out now. Go cop it. Go cop that right now. That's right. I know your nerves all hurt me. Yeah, my speakers they bump. I know your endings all hurt me. Drive by in the cut. I know your endings all hurt me. I know your nerves all hurt me. I know your nerves all hurt me. Got the loud in the trunk. I know your nerves all hurt me. Yeah, my speakers they bump. I know your endings all hurt me. Drive by in the cut. When they get so hurt, I know your endings all hurt me. I know your endings all hurt me. I know your endings all hurt me. She yeah, she fly like a bird. You're riding in a rock, rock. Nah, nah, I ain't sorry, sorry. Nah, nah, I ain't sorry, sorry. I hit that bitch in the rock. Yeah, I'm getting to the bench. Yeah, you know how I am. Narcotics in the back. At the top, like a flag. Yeah, I'm wishing for a jack, jack. Hope you get a little crash. I be wearing mine this. Spent the whole vibe. Yeah, we get.